Welcome back to the 2008 National Championships. It's ESPN Saturday night. Right now, we are in match number two of the winner's bracket round two. We're checking out as Carbon. Yeah, that's right. The number seven seed is up over final boss, the three seed, two to zero. And right now, Sundance, Chris Puckett, joined by the captain of Stray Ripon. It's T-squared. Tom Taylor, how are you feeling right now? Feeling good. This match is exciting. What do you think? Are you surprised by Carbon's performance? No, I mean, I said it in my uh, ESPN chat. They have a lot of potential, and they just haven't been living up to their expectations in what tournament to do it better than in Vegas. Yeah, now, these guys have been landing with you guys a little bit, playing with you, and, and you think that's helped them maybe? I mean, because right now, i got to tell you, they're looking really good. It's not us that made them better. It's themselves, and the land may have helped them, but they're doing it all on their own right now. Right on. Well, we're going to see if they can continue on their stream of success right now. We're going into game three. It is going to be Guardian Oddball. Do or die time right now for final boss. They have to win this one to stay alive in the best of five series. Of course, Guardian Oddball, 250 seconds to win the game. you got to control the sniper rifle. you got to control the camo. And that mauler down middle, it's kind of important as well. We're going to be kicking this game off with strong side from Final Boss. And T2, i got to ask you, what have we been seeing from Final Boss so far in this match? This seems a little flustered right now and haven't warmed up yet. Uh, this seems like one of their better game types. And they may be able to pull us to 2-1 right now, but Carbon's got all the momentum in the world. Push this in a little closer. Right now it looks like strong side is going to be putting down some heavy BR shots. We'll fix the T squared mic, making him sound even prettier than he already is. And strong side doing some damage from the snipe tower. It looks like final boss lead was able to grab that early ball, take it down to the green room. But here is a nice push from Carbon to get the ball back in their control. But really, no one being able to establish complete map control here, Tom. The key is killing Mason and Neighbor, and that's what they just did. You want to take the sniper rifle out of his hands. And now they got uh, ball bottom green, which is a really good setup, and they got snipe tower. So I got to ask you, just because, you know, you and Mason, there was some, some bad feelings, obviously, when, when he left and went to the final ball. Have you guys talked at all, or is that still off? No. Nope. Nothing we're going to deal with yet. We haven't talked. I mean, uh, maybe after the tournament or something like that, but he's my best friend, and uh, it hurts when one of your best friends does something like that to you. So it is what it is, and uh, hopefully placing better than them uh, will make it all better. <laughs> yeah, I got you on that. Well, the other thing I want to ask you about is obviously uh, this has been a big year for, for your team, uh, for yourself individually, but you know, just a couple of days ago a pretty big announcement came out about the Dr. Pepper deal. You're going to be on over 175 million bottles. Now, I remember this kid that I met a few years ago who I am. He's like, oh, yo, I'm going to be the next big pro. You're not going to believe it. Now, from that kid who, you know, had so much confidence back then and who, you know, when I first met you, you shook my hand and you, you, like, you told me, I guarantee you, I will be a star. How does it feel to be where you are now? It's good, but really it doesn't mean anything until or uh, if we win this tournament. We, we need to win this tournament and we need to keep doing well. Placing second and third has been something that we've been cursed with for a while and now we have the right mix of players to... And, you know, they're my best friends, and, and I, nothing will be better for them to win a championship, especially for Eric. It's his first tournament, or his first finals, and Brian and Kyle, they've been through this twice. So, uh, honestly, Elmite, he wasn't even in the finals two years ago. He was a yeah, coach. Yeah. So I know he wants it really bad, and you, for, I want to win it for all of us. Well, you know, and it's crazy. I think, you know, I look at your squad, and, and it's, it's an all-star team in a lot of ways. I mean, you guys... But, but that doesn't mean anything, because you can say that about Final Boss as well. There's a ton of talent down there, and they seem to have a little bit of trouble, tr trouble meshing. But you guys, now you had Neighbor, obviously, and, and you guys were on paper the most you know, skilled team out there. Now you have Snipe down, and if anything, you know, you've, you've improved. Sure, you, you had a little bit of a slip against Triggers down the last event, but you guys have just meshed really well. It seems like everyone's on the same page. Now, how... Like, what do you attribute that to? Are you guys just, you know, you understand that what you have is something special? Everybody's willing to do whatever it takes to win? I mean, how do you get there as a team of four guys when we've seen other teams have so much trouble with that? We all just have a lot of confidence in each other in our one-on-one -on -one abil one -on -one abilities and as our, in our team play. And we are all open to constructive criticism, which is really important. When you can call someone out and say, hey, why don't you do this, why don't you do that, without getting mad at each other. Of course, we have our fights like any other team, but I think that's what makes us so good is we call each other out on certain aspects of our game. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I, it, it's always a pleasure to watch you guys. And, and the Instinct series that we just saw was, was, was a great matchup, obviously. I think I know you guys walked into this event saying we're not going to drop a game, which is what you do 
pretty much every event. I know you pretty well, and, and you're you know you're an insane competitor. But you also have a history of maybe slipping up early on. Do you think that that series going the way it did kind of kind of woke something up inside you guys, so that later on you're not going to fall into a trap? Well, actually, instinct land against final boss and triggers down, which we figured these other three teams are going to be our main competition and they won the lands against those guys oh, wow. so we knew they were going to be a really tough team if not our best competition and they're in the losers bracket we can't think of them as gone now because right, they last come back. we they choked didn't. in the finals and we gotta you know just think of it as a brand new series and take it just as serious so we can't overlook them and say that we beat them already because like triple x said they may come back right. you know, um, come back blazing so yeah i know they're going to be gunning for you now i want to ask you just you know, there's so many players out there, young kids maybe, who this is the first season they've heard about MLG, and, and they're like that kid that I heard from from Florida who's, you know, very, uh, you say confident or cocky, you know, but, but there's kids out there who convinced that they're going to be the next big thing. If you just had one piece of advice to give to a kid who's listening to us right now, who dreams of one day being where you are, what would that piece of advice be? I started out on the MLG website, you know, MLGPro.com. I went to the forums and the message boards, got my name out there, told everybody about myself, and was always trying to find people as good as me or better to play with. And you gotta have to do that. You're gonna have to do that. You can't expect to go pro overnight. You have to find people around your skill level, go to local tournaments, build yourself up, attend an MLG event, meet people, network. I mean, that's the best thing is just go to the MLG website. If you're a young guy, you know, talk to your parents about it, show them all the videos, and. Uh, and do your homework and clean around. <laughs> so, clean around the house. That's what I did. So oh, that's some good advice, folks. Uh, you know, and just coming from a guy who did it. Again, I, I, you know, first time I met him, he was this skinny little kid from Florida who didn't eat lunch for a couple of months so he could afford a trip to one of our events. So uh, it's pretty amazing to be here at this point now. You remember back in the day when we were all carrying TVs? Yep. It was a different bit of a, it was a different scene back then. Um, Ten bucks in, in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I ate honey buns for a whole weekend. I don't know how you stayed alive. Huh? The I don't first know time I met either. Team Squared was over Xbox Connect, and I thought he was wall hacking because every time I turned a corner in Halo 1, I was getting sniped or rocketed. <laughs> he was controlling all the power-ups, knowing how to time them before we did. I didn't even know that, that the pistol was a good weapon until I actually got to land. So, uh, <laughs> I probably say that's why my sniping was so good. Oh, you know what? I wish I was a, I wish I was good. I'm just bad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, shoots. Yeah, you know, I can't help it. I just, I just like running around and being a jackass. So right now, we see Carmen's got a lead right here. Final boss, though, has the ball. Um, yep. We saw you guys. You guys just played this game type against Instinct, and you were down a chunk of change. You, you, know, you had to fight your way back. But you guys didn't seem to panic. I mean, you guys were very methodical about it. What does Final Boss have to do right now? Well, there you go. I mean, they just had full control. They got good spawns to get the camo, and Carbon came up clutch. So we'll see what they can do right now. The camo's not going to be up for another two minutes. Final Boss knows what they got to do to take control back. It's just a matter of Carbon can stop him or not. All right, so you, I got to get that bottle from you for just a second here because I'm not sure everybody out there has seen it yet, but 